saying about Andrew Tate? <laughs> oh, Welcome back to Giant Slayer, the heroes from True Now. After an extended break, we we find our heroes in the Temple of Fandara, deep within the valleys of Minderhall. After fighting off some clay statues that animated to attack the party, but ended up as piles of green slime, those affected by the green slime are wondering what happens next. Dex tells everyone that he did not get hit by the slime and the heroes can see deck-sized images on the ground where apparently the slime did not go. Maybe it was the cooked troll sweetmeats from the morning that protected him. Let's slime on. And so we remember that after these clay statues animated, uh, almost when Dex provided a warning that they might do such a thing, after knocking them down, they exploded as slime-like versions of these statues. Uh, and that slime, when it touched some of you, has caused almost a disease or something poisoning to take effect on your skin. And I think Narok, who stayed out of danger, and Dex, who was just very lucky, seemed to be unaffected by the slime. But Dahlgren, Terity, Umlo and Barrent uh, have got slime on them and have noticed after a short period of time that the areas affected are starting to glow green and it seems to be burning into their flesh. The rope scream that yells out, get in the water, wash it off your skin. Maybe. Yep, yep. Um, and comes over to a bat here and starts waving at them because that's all he can do because he has no idea what else to do. Just for everyone, I'll share that map back with you all. And so really, yes, it's it, it, this is not something that's affecting you within seconds or probably potentially even minutes, but it is progressing. There wouldn't appear to be any other immediate threat around in this vast temple uh, to a stone giant goddess. And so obviously you can imagine this is something of significant size. You are all near a, a cabinet that you haven't looked at, I think. And then in the middle of the room was this water channel and some uh, instrument that seemed to bring water in and then something happened in the middle area, and then water exited out through the channel through near the doors where you entered this large building. It's very old. There are some cracks in the floor, and everything obviously is of this massive size that would suit stone giants. What would anyone like to do? And I suspect we probably still can't hear Ash. Umlo jumps in the water to try and clean off the boogers. Yep. Enough. And a is a wizard. Alright. <laughs> 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 Let's, uh, yep, okay, Ash does the same, and I'm going to assume that Barrett does. That just leaves you, Terity. Well, let's, uh, let's say if all of you four, and I'll roll for Barrett, can attempt uh, a um, fortitude save, please. Hmm. Well, that is uh, that is unfortunate. Oh, you worry me when you say stuff like that. Well, it's unfortunate that you know I've rolled for one, and unfortunately, one of the other characters has also rolled the same number, which is a twenty. So there's two instant successes. Um, one of the other characters was got the opposite number and 
Umlo got five times that opposite number. So Umlo and Dahlgren still seem to be affected by the by the slime. Um, you guys can roll die threes and subtract that from your constitution. That being Dolgren and Umlo. And you feel this green stuff is sort of almost turning your blood green. You can see it traveling up veins. Well, I think you you think you you guys have scrubbed enough now, and it seemed to work for Barrett and Terity. So you guys think, gee, that was lucky, but not so lucky for Dolgren and Umlo. Um, I bet, so that's it. So they've scrubbed enough off. I mean, you can go, but it's like they've got everything off. But um, you do notice that Dolgren uh, casts a spell and it clears up ash so i think you've still got that con uh, constitution damage but you have stopped the green slime disease from spreading further but obviously obviously not for uh umlo at the moment So for those, yes, you obviously have seen that Ash cast the Dolgren, cast Remove Disease, and that seemed to have an instant effect of removing the ongoing effects of this slime that was proceeding in amongst your veins. <laughs> well, um, anyone who wants to can make a heel check. Yeah, I'm low. You certainly can't think of anything more. You've you've scrubbed and scrubbed. Uh, Darwin and Terity, you, you think that was the best thing, and obviously a removed disease clearly works. Dahlgren's cast it, but you don't think bloodletting's going to work here. You you need some form of magic or potion that would be that would either remove the disease or is an even more powerful effect, such as a heal spell or something like that. Uh, uh, hmm. So it's technically not a sickness. It's a very special type of disease. Almost, a, you can just see the the arm is. It's like it's almost rotting from the inside as this green starts taking over. Uh, uh, so not so. Dolgren's okay. It's Umlo. Uh, yeah. I mean, if we remove his arm and then put the steel hand on, it would work. Ooh. Uh, oh, 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 oh. oh Dolgren's, Come on. Dolgren's fall down. Might have uh, the steel hand. <laughs> it could. <laughs> it might be destiny, Armlo's ancestors, uh, et cetera. M moons and stuff. Well, Nothing let's low. say that Terity. Terity and Dahlgren, you guys are looking at how this is progressing. You think, we reckon this guy, Umlo's got maybe a day at best. Oh, that sucks. So if we room, rest, get some spells back. We could try that. I think Dahlgren is saying uh, in Treant style, don't be hasty. 
he can heal in time. <laughs> As my blood starts turning green. <laughs> that's that's right. Uh, yes. I mean, you guys, you guys would be uh, way all way too young, perhaps, to remember Doctor Who and the Ark in space. But it wouldn't be too dissimilar to that when you get a touch of this green slime and you you change into something else. Uh, I mean, if you think he's turning into the green slime, we could keep his shape by putting him in one of these statues. Well, they've they've all exploded. Uh, Rebuild it around him. Yes, yes, and in fact. That's quite inspiring, Dex, because you, in this flash of inspiration, you think that's probably what happened um, with those statues you knocked over is someone was put in there infected by this stuff and they built clay around it. And in effect, it became a guardian of this temple as a clay statue, but obviously had the slime creature inside. I mean, I'm basically a bard. And I look at Terity. Ah, <laughs> uh, Terity. I mean, Ned. basically a bard. <laughs> basically. Oh. Uh, treat me like one of the guys. Uh, buff me like you buff everyone else. Now, I, I just point out to you the lacquered cabinet to the south seems to be the most interesting thing in the immediate area. Still closed, wasn't it? Yes. And we I mean, it, it. if I'm a giant alchemist and an idiot, I'm assuming the antidote is in there. <laughs> I start I start crushing some ants. <laughs> let 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 me let me use my ancient knowledge of lore and stories of the past to check if this uh, thing is trapped. <laughs> All right. Roll away. <laughs> How have I muted Ash in the Discord channel? I don't even understand that. Oh, so, yep. No, nothing is nothing is ticked in there. No. But Michael, I have had this. Remember playing DDO sometimes, and I think it seemed that the two didn't behave together. But if if you're once rebooting and only starting it, yeah, then that shouldn't be an issue. Is it worth Ash jumping out of Tuesday Gaming, jumping into Saturday Gaming, and or into another channel just to see if it is specifically this channel that hates him? Or good idea, maybe just, just a thought. Do you want to try that with Michael just in the other one? Let's check our levels. Ooh. And now Michael's gone. Oh, yeah. Ch changing changing channel never <laughs> works for me. I always have to get all the way out of Discord. Yeah, and that was the same when I've done it. Like actually, at, which I assume has done powering completely off. And as Colin suggested, even sacrificing a goat to Microsoft. <laughs> oh, the Dark Lord. <clears throat> Sorry. Apparently it works. 
Uh, well, folks, um, where are we at? Uh, you don't think, Dex, you don't... Well, in fact, no, I'll write that. I don't think. Okay, I sit there. You absolutely just don't think. That is true. I'll go... All, all of the storied elements of this chest uh, lead me to believe it's not trapped. Oh, I mean cabinet. <laughs> Just in case someone really strong should open it. Yes, that you certainly would be convinced of that. Noting that Dex is actually quite a strong character. Uh, and I look at Barrent. <laughs> okay, well, Bar Barrent will open the cupboard and you guys can see inside several large blocks of what is obviously dried clay. Look at Umlo and look at the clay. And then look at Umlo and look at the clay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Are you... You, you don't think it's the same clay that was used to make the statues. Uh, Dahlgren, in fact, can make a... Well, in fact, anyone with relig knowledge religion can make a roll. Does the clay look edible? Obviously, Narok can't see from where he's standing because he's too scared about catching this possible slime stuff because he's already half and gets discriminated and not. Uh... Terity, you, it doesn't look edible, and Terity, you think that this is possibly you, you know, you, just in the recess of your mind, gee, what what could it be used for? And Dolgren, you would blurt out that, uh, ah, this is the sacred clay used to relight, well, allegedly relight Minderhall's forge. But you haven't. You possibly need to uh, get inside Minder Hall itself and perhaps talk to people to find out what more of that means. But in legend, there is a forge used to do particular things to weapons and armor, etc. And that this is one of the things needed to relight that forge. But in addition, there is a scroll. It does, it, does it look like the scroll was just recently added? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> ink, ink, ink's still wet. Well, let's let's chuck all the clay in a bag or something. Dolgar and <laughs> uh, I will. I will add. Uh, in fact, Dolgar will know. He can. Dahlgren, I think, rolled one. There you go. There's one one lot of special clay, uh, a scroll, and we can assume you put all the other blocks in there, which you will need as a particular item. I'll make a note of that. But yes, yeah, sadly for Umlo, nothing nothing seems to be evident to slow this other than Dolgren obviously knows something, uh, just doesn't currently have the power. I grab him and start shaking him and slapping him to get him to talk. Well, do we need to <laughs> do we need, do we need to adventure for a full day before we're tired enough to rest for him to cast a spell? Um, you you would certainly think you could rest here that you've come far enough to rest here uh, but as to getting it I think clerics as you may point out get their spells at the same time every day and that would be less than 
you would think Dahlgren's likely to get his spells before Umlo is uh, is gone. Cool. So does that mean you guys are setting up camp in here? I'm starting to flag. <laughs> Probably good. Um, you know, uh, is there any way we can sort of make barricades and stuff around? Oh, I don't know if you can see my arrows are not up there at the top left with the other tables and all the other stuff is. <laughs> Uh, or can we barricade the doors closed? Did did uh, we search but, all of that stuff? There wasn't anything there that could cure him or whatever. You, you know, there's nothing. No, nothing would look interesting there. You, there are bits you could probably chop up, but the problem is, is the channel that lets the water out still goes out. That would enable something, if you like, to get in, not we, using the doors. If we barricade the doors and we have a sentry. Here and when we're on actual sentry duty, we try and stay awake. Then <laughs> people can sleep up in the back corner or over here, and then we just swap out. Now, Narok, when you're saying that about actually staying awake, are you looking at any other party member in particular? No, no, just generally around the room because he's feeling very uh, lack of accusatory at the current stage of the day because everyone's been in a bit of a pickle by him, so he doesn't want to come across too harsh. But, I, I mean, can't all that slime just reform into another slime monster and then get us anyway? What's You seem to have taken the life away from this slime. There's only one thing that's likely to turn into the slime monster, and that is Umlo. Oh. Well, I mean, it's not like we can tie him up and that would solve the problem, because if he turns into ooze... Then... That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, we can we can go through uh, we can go through the night's watch. So we could start with Narok. Very cool to be grabbing a one of them. All good, Terity. Seems to work, Terity. Well done. Yeah. Uh, now, just just one thing, Terity. So, are you spending the night very close to Umlo, like you have the last few nights? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get get your ruse on. <laughs> uh, Dex. Oh, sorry. I'll I'll drop the perception die and I'll put the fortitude on. You uh you <laughs> you you're awake uh. And I think we'll get to Dolgren if Ash is back on. Nope. Yep. Hmm. Ah, uh, Ash. Let's uh, let's go with a fortitude save for yourself. You're sort of awake, but you you do wake up and notice that Barrent has uh, fallen asleep. And so you wake up to an eerie, eerily quiet, uh, huge, this, this space is so cavernous and it just seems so quiet, except for a sort of a, a bubbling or gurgling sound coming from Umlo. 
um, who now seems to be uh, quite green indeed. Uh, oh, CC on land. Yes, uh, but it is it is a new day. I will do a uh, night's rest. And it's the early morning with a with an umlo who is uh, who is definitely not feeling well at all. Barely. Still, yes. <laughs> In fact, maybe umlo, you can roll another die three and take that off your constitution, please. Oh, no, you said die. <laughs> okay, oh, so Roger. Hearing, Roger. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeez. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, Dolgren has come to the rescue, Umlo, and the green recedes as the power of Torag floods through your body and takes the disease away, leaving you, though, in a somewhat um, more precarious or less healthy state, but mm -hmm. disease-free. Much oh, to Terity's delight, I'm sure. <laughs> I... I was going to say, I fall into Terity's arms. <laughs> Look after me. <laughs> so my sister was just a fling. <laughs> Slap. <laughs> oh, you'd say anything. A lovely moment. If only there was a sunset, it was just sort of coming over the bit of water. In fact, there is a bit of water. It is dawn, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 but you're inside this cavernous building. Uh, Maybe it's screaming through the, the open door still, although you've barricaded that up. Maybe there's just a few, just some light streaming through. I'm sure there's tears in Dex's eyes. Yeah, he's trying to hold that fart so he doesn't ruin <laughs> the moment. <laughs> uh. And yes... You, uh, you... <laughs> Sorry, Charity, who are you saying that to? Dolgren's just had to depart, but Dolgren does acknowledge you and say, um, the, the disease, even though Torag has has uh, disinfected him, his strength has been sapped and he will require some time to recover, perhaps even more of Torag's, uh, Torag's special healing. Uh, you, you don't have to say it like that, Dolgren. You did a good job. Your magic did it. I'm going to give him a hat on the shoulder. Well... Yep.
Yeah, yeah, it's certainly just uh, this, certainly because of all the moisture here and everything else, it's certainly very um, almost claustrophobic because of the high humidity. But are you exiting the exiting the temple? There's nowhere to go or anything further from inside the temple, is there? No, no, it's really just one large cavernous space, and it was at the end of the valley. Yeah, yeah, let's let's quietly and stealthily all exit this temple. Okay. Well, you, as you head out through the through the doors, you can all make perception rolls. Well, it's uh, well enough in the twenties. You, you, um, you notice that there is a uh, there's a figure standing over in the trees, thinking that they're quite well hidden, but none of you guys think that's the case. But you get the feeling that this figure still thinks that he he is hidden. Uh that's probably a very good uh, a good uh, question, and I'm sure that Derek will now explain what that figure looks like. A blank squared wizard. Um, no, because um, I haven't got a picture for him yet. So, um, yeah, hiding hiding over in the corner is a human wizard who looks a little a uh, little bit worse for wear. Um, because he fellow adventurers that he had been with. Actually, I won't use that yet. Um, I'm just reading the backstory that I got given. Um, I think I can like send, send some more looks, related. Wait, uh, wait, yeah. is that Bigglesworth? Let's fucking looks, get him. <laughs> Narok draws his bow back to full tension at the name Bigglesworth <laughs> and aims. Uh, In fact, um, uh, in fact, I can um, even you might even recognize uh, some of them from where you are on Aston. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, yep. So you look over and you see um, a human who looks a bit the worse for wear and. Um, and you think has basically been um, going bush, looking wild for a little bit, with a little bit of wildness in his eyes at the moment. Um, he locks eyes with one who kind of looks familiar in the team. After a moment, Von Aston stands up and tentatively makes himself known, never breaking eye contact from Narok. Does he does he quickly rip his jacket open? No. He's <laughs> he's looking he's looking at Narok with sadness in his eyes. Naroka is so confused right now. But he takes, <laughs> um, but, but but he takes the tension off the bow, puts the arrow away in his quiver, and just scratches his chin, shaking his head in confusion as why this person is at this point, at this location. Um, I'm assuming oh. Naroka remembers his name. Um. No, Naroke, I don't uh, think you no. but others may, but no. I think probably enough times past they may struggle to recognise you, Der uh, Von Aston. Okay. Um, I point at Naroke and wave him forward as you see me lift someone out of the bushes behind. And Naroke, do you recognise the person that I... Unveil as being your mother. 
Yeah, she calls out, Little Nary, I haven't seen you since you got just after your 17th birthday. It's a miracle, Little Nary. Oil. <laughs> Wait, is that his stepdad? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Naroke is seriously fucking having flashbacks, eh? Hey? <laughs> They're not fun. Um... Uh, the rogue takes a tentative step forward. Like, Mom? She rushes forward. Little Nary, little Nary. Oh. And uh, you, you can tell it is indeed your mother, Naroke, who you haven't seen, as I understand it, since just after your 17th birthday. Very much so. Um, he picks her up in his arms and spins around and asks her, what the f- Why are you here? Howie, what the fuck is going on? Well, I was a captive, but this this man here and his party saved us. It was a miracle. Miracle. And she defers to Von Aston. All right, looks Von Aston uh, quizzically. Quizzically? No, we'll go quizzically? There we go. Yeah. Um, I was part of an adventure party that sort out these giants but unfortunately I am the last one standing we basically succumbed to a massive red dragon um, we got away we were able to break about 16 captives um, free but however over the ensuing days um, only these four remain Naroka is pondering the, you know, being taken down by a red dragon. Fighting giant steps forward, puts his hand out to shake Von Ashton's hand in gratitude. Shakes yeah. warmly. Which turns into a hug from Naroka. Manly pat on the back and the word mm. in his ear, gratitude. I owe you a life debt for saving my mother. We also killed a thousand dragons. Can someone check them to see if they've got uh, illusion magic on them? <laughs> <laughs> um, break it in the mood, dude. Um, um, a life debt is unnecessary. Any, uh, anyone in need shall receive help from me. Gratitude. Uh, with that, Neurok steps back, grabs his mum, moves off to the side just to you know, spend some time, mother and son time, catching up, relaying stories. He's not a very talkative person with everybody else, but when he sees his mum, he drops back to being that 17 year old again, proud of achievements, proud of himself, and explains, you know, what they're doing and why they're doing it. Oh, I always knew he'd do so well. He's come a long way from when he used to play with the little mud figures and everything else, just as a little boy. All right, Mum. This is this is Terity. That's Umlo. That's Dex. That's Dolgren. Um, we you know Mum. And welcome. What are we doing welcome. now? Oh, I've got quite a few stories I can tell about Little Nary myself. Narok starts waving Terity off and leading his mum away. <laughs> in a bit, in a bit. So yeah, Narok leads his mum off to the side just to catch up and hear about her and how she is. Um, 
letting everyone else talk amongst themselves. But it was very, very good to hear Dolgren's welcoming dulcet tones before. Which. Yes. I don't know if it's working or not. Am I working? Hey! Hey! Welcome back. Oh, to excellent, the excellent. Brilliant. Welcome, Von Aston. I yeah. think I remember you from um, many a year ago. But I'm not sure if you remember me. Yeah, hmm. I mean, as a human, you must have been like, yay tall and i do like a foot above where i am uh last time we saw you maybe hmm. yeah i i think i remember you guys but you were only up to my waist at that time you seem to have gotten rounder since then ouch rounder <laughs> and wiser oh wait he was talking to you <laughs> and and more smashy i'm guessing so, um, what do you plan to do with yourself now? Or has that already been established? I mean, we could probably protect them as we go into the heart of the giant lands to kill the leader. Uh, <laughs> that's any trouble with that. <laughs> the, they, the, they have got a nice area here they could stay in for some time, as long as someone proficient enough was able to protect them. No, yeah, the safest place is with us, though. You've just got to realise that the front line will move very swiftly uh, at the start of combat. So you <laughs> might find yourself in the front if you thought you were in the back. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Well, I should say, uh, uh, Dave, we have a player on Thursday night who'd be very happy to hear you say that. He's always whining that... He's a magic user in the back who suddenly ends up in the front, and why isn't he being protected? Hmm. Yeah, I do that Saturday all the time. So. <laughs> uh. And Nurek comes back over with his mum. Um, she's sort of just hanging around, looking around and stuff, and yeah, quite quite content, obviously, holding onto Nurek's right hand because she won't let the fuck go. Uh, so, where do we go from here? What, what's What's... You know, Von Aston, are you taking my mother to safety, or are you, what, what are we doing, gents and ladies? I think well, I would, as much as I would like to do that, I seek retribution for my fallen comrades. We understand, but, um,. You can't oh, well, leave uh, Norok's mother in danger either. Better leave them here with Amlo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, this this area would seem to be relatively safe and free from giants in terms of the temple hadn't been disturbed. It had those guardians who are no longer there. Uh, and... I think that Umlo could certainly be ready for a bit of a break from adventuring. He had retired once before. I mean, he still looks pretty sick, doesn't he? Uh, <laughs> did you? Oh. But he's he he needs some days just to recover his yeah. Full um, condition. well, that being the case, I can um cast some some other things on him to uh like lesser restoration things like that, if that'll help. <laughs> You think he'll recover, but yes, that would speed up the healing process for him. Well, if that'll speed up the healing process for him, um, uh, the what is it? Uh, so I think you just have to. Is it uh, die four and yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got two of these. Bits of con back, so that'll help. Ooh, I'm feeling healthier. Yep. I'm low. If you are okay to stay here, rest, um, mother, will you look so look after him until he can look after you until we can return? Oh, I certainly will, little Nary. Just okay. like I used to look after you as a little boy. Do you remember rocking you in the bed there? 
Yes, mum. You were such a little skelly wag. Yes, mum. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll rock him in a we'll rock him in something tonight. Just to, you know, just for old times. Yeah, he he hasn't been in any danger since he joined us, so rest well, assured. <laughs> he hurriedly gets some trail rations and other bits and pieces together to leave for them and says we need to go, probably. It's probably a good idea. Uh, Von, Von Aston, you, you, you need to go now as well, don't you? Uh, Charity, we're going? Yes? Dex? Excellent. I remember he wouldn't go to the toilet outside of the room. He'd wee inside the room. And I said next time he did it, did it I'd, I'd rub his nose in it. Well, he, st- he still does that, man. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to search your head, fellas. And um, love you, Mum. We'll be back. I don't know when, but we will return. <laughs> And then you see Naroke fade into the trees like a ninja. There's a reason we call him the Flood Troll. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I would. I would appreciate it. Yes. All right. I'm staying here with the others, just, you know, with brave Umlo. We'll, we'll be ready when you come back. I've got many more little narry stories to tell you. Great. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, once we're packed up, let's get going. Time to waste. Look after little Nary for me. We will, of course. Can't load base module that is core rule book items. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I am from the lower region of Stuttgart. Um, and me and an adventuring party we we heard of the um deprivation of the giants and how they were seeking to claim captives probably for nefarious needs of such as eating them um and me and my friends unfortunately um dax is was one of my friend friendly um companions who departed uh, I thought we could free all of them. We might have if the dragon didn't intervene. But apparently the, the giants took all the bodies of my companions and the dead captives back. And so at the moment... You guys are. In fact, I know what I need to do. I need to change that. I need to bring Von Aston down. I think you guys are at the end of this valley here. Ah. So it got progressively more boggy and it doesn't seem as if it's been very well travelled, hence why it's a bit safer down the end here. Um, Though clearly Von Asden is talking about a dragon, which is probably not overly worried about the land conditions. Which direction was that from? Yeah. you would remember Von Aston, it wasn't far after where the wall is. So you're familiar as the rest of the party are with the wall that stretches across the valley and the gates. Uh, I mean, we've seen plenty of drakes here, sure. You're not just, you know, getting them mixed up. Oh, seriously. I do not know what you are talking about. Obviously, I know exactly what I am talking about. I don't know. I'm, I'm just asking, that's all. <laughs> all right, roger that. 
All right. So where would you like to roughly head, noting you've got the map there where I've uncovered the fog of war for the bits you have explored? You know there's bucket loads of giants towards the, a large building, which is probably where you may want to be and is interesting, but there might be other ways of getting there. Um, what other parts of the of the valley would you like to travel to next? So effectively, the large wall is there. Yes. And we had spoken about coming back up, going along and coming down. Well, that way. Ha have we done everything this side of the bridge? Uh, the, uh, the, you, that side. Yes, you think this side of the bridge, you've explored this the verdant valley that has a lot more moisture content in it is the river um and particularly where you get to where the ground becomes so much more boggy yes so i think if you go back up this way there's only then to the right that way that you have not been before you get sort of right back to the the area that you hadn't been south in um suggest that we do come back up all the way up here yep. and try down to the right acknowledging that we this is possibly an area we would like to go but we may want to find a, a, a back entrance as it were because getting past that wall and <clears throat> having all the, the, the butt cheeks carved um, was, was entertaining yet slightly difficult what, what are you talking about butt cheeks carving <laughs> It's, uh, it's part look, of, it's, look at Dex and just open my hand. I'll say, I'll say loudly. Uh, I'll say loud, loudly in a way that sort of cuts him off. It's part of the long game, and then I <laughs> do like the shh. Sh and and uh, Narok taps his nose, looks at Dex, turns around, and has a quizzical "What the fuck?" look on his face, and just keep, <laughs> keeps going on. It's just to continue the road of homoeroticism. No, no, no. Don't worry about so, it. You need me to tell you now, do you, or later? Oh, I can. I wanted it to be a surprise. Keep it a surprise. Whatever. Keep it as a surprise. Well, needless to say, just as you head off, um, in De uh, Naroke's mum runs after. Oh, little Nary, little Nary, I brought you some food just to take on your way, just like I used to, and she gives you a small bit of cloth. Which has some berries inside it. Thanks, Mum. Um, stay safe. Listen to Umlo. Look after him. Uh, I'll see you in some time. And give her a kiss on the forehead, a bit of a hug. Wipe a half tear from his eye because he only gets half tears because he's a harpy. And <laughs> <laughs> walk, walks off to, to lead the party through the. Um, the chasms and I was going to say he's all man, but that's not technically true, is it? <laughs> no, no, no. That's it. Well, you you reach the stone bridge when it's probably time to camp again. It oh does not appear to have uh, been re uh, re re, re uh, centred. <laughs> re stone gianted. Yep. So. I'll yeah, uh, Naroka will look for a, a place to you know, shimmy up, probably very similar to where we were last time, um, and then he'll take first watch as as is the way. Yes, and you are you are awake, so we're on to Terity next. Wow, you. you absolutely done phenomenally well uh dex well uh von aston barrent feels a little bit off and you were certainly gonna watch with him if you could make a fortitude uh, sorry a perception check please oh okay uh Dahlgren, a perception check, please. Oh, perception. Oh, crap. I don't usually pay attention. That is true. So in the morning, you all sort of wake up. Uh, 
you know, um, you the thing for you, uh, Von Aston and Dahlgren, is you don't even remember watching. But uh, and Dahlgren, you're not in your armor, and you're normally last on watch. Um, yes. The Dex is certainly walking around, presumably as if everything's fine. But it, no, it no, no, like no. Much. I'll I'll admit that I I, I fell asleep. Ah. I'll, well, I'll just I'll I'll point to the other two. I'll say I couldn't wake them up, so I tried to take a double shift and I actually fell asleep. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fair uh, enough. I will. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's. Uh, it's. Uh, everyone can make a. Uh, what is it? A sense motive roll. Please. Mm in the tower or they could choose not to that's true yeah okay well um yep so von Aston, you and dahlgren you think uh yeah okay well obviously uh that was good on decks for trying to be a bit of a hero but because you guys think that seems absolutely reasonable yeah you don't obviously couldn't wake you up you're obviously too exhausted from walking the other day Ooh. obviously so the next day you guys Let's hey, uh, say... uh, Terry or uh, Von Aston, now that you're here, do you want to take a look at these um, items that we have? We don't know what they do. Hmm. i sort of holding on to them and, um, yeah, I'm not sure what they are. Absolutely. Uh, yep, new day. Like some spellcraft rolls and whatever items they are. Who Have you got them, Dahlgren? I have I have some of them. Oh no, we're uh, going to get pissy now, are we? Um, I mean, he was he was studying <laughs> under Bigglesworth, wasn't he? When he when he was a kid. Uh, Who is this Bigglesworth uh, that you hit? Uh, uh, Territy. Oh, Territy, of course. My apologies. All right, so get it then. Uh, all right, we have. So Von Aston, that's what you remember of uh, that name they're talking about. I also have this. That's more of a. I think that's probably useful for you. Yep. We're all going to be traveling together. Good to uh, share it out. Better. Um. Yes, I do normally do this type of stuff, along with trying to make a character very quickly and getting <laughs> caught up in the, getting caught up in the um the stuffs. Um, Get yourself together, man! All right, <laughs> we're on a dangerous mission. Okay. That'll do. <clears throat> Um, it's my hour that I'm preparing my spells each day. Okay, well, Terity, you've punched that one out, Terity. Um, if only I could make sense of what Dahlgren has written, I can sort of see that. Yeah, object. no, the bag, bag of holding version 5, or type 5, which is what Yeah, but like it says that. unidentified, yet when I look at it in your character sheet, it says identified. No, it not, on, not from me, it didn't. Oh, a different one, right. yeah. I've got you.
Is that the that's ah oh, from there? Okay, yep. So it's it's leather armor. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Terity, I've clicked Ooh. identified on it. Ooh. Nice. Uh, so next item. Uh, yes, so Von Aston, you couldn't really offer anything else with that first item. It seemed to be outside of your range. Uh, and Terity with the next item, which is the Warhammer. Um, it's not magical. What? Not not magical. Huh. Yeah. Uh, I, I I was going to praise Torag, but let's yeah. let's let's assume that was known and we'll do the the hand that's in there at the moment. There you go, Michael. I will do the hand. Nice. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that sounds pretty crap because we've been fighting giants. I'm pretty sure I can sense a giant. <laughs> I, I take a drink as he's about to tell us how much it is. <laughs> oh, Rocky. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yep. So I look, I looked for you. I I spit the water out. I had the helping <laughs> look as well. Good work, Dex. <laughs> that's the that's the appropriate response. <laughs> <laughs> We've done it. We've finally earned retirement money. Let's fucking go. <laughs> uh, has Baron got any magic items is what you're saying? Uh, he... We're just having a look. Any unidentified ones? No. No, I've just got the stuff that I've got that I'm still waiting to use. Yeah, I don't think don't think Baron does. But someone is welcome to take Baron and have a look. But it doesn't look like it. There is one item I can see in the party sheet that's not identified yet. It is a jar. Out of ointment. Of yes. ointment. <laughs> well, this time, Von Aston, you appear to have had slightly more knowledge than your diminutive co new colleague. And you would know this about it that I have identified in the party sheet. Oh, where's the party sheet? There. Ooh. Restorative ointment. 
Nice. Ooh. Well, lay it on us. How much? Disease. Oh, how much is that worth? If your life, oh. if you need it. <laughs> yeah, it's almost a bit Gary Gygax ish in a way. Could have been useful with Umlo if you hadn't mm. had removed the disease. Oh, well. we fixed him up. Yeah. Well, I mean, if. He lives in Queen. No, he lives in Queenbian. He, yeah, Queenbian, he's, yes, of he's only got one leg because of the Great Tuggeranong War. It's yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very different. <laughs> Commonly known as Gaz. So, so yeah. Did yeah. you um? Did you want me to take the ointment or um? No, no. A- a- anyone but you, because you're the one we're going to need to use it on, aren't you? Oh, is that right? Well, because you can cast a spell, so you can do it on anyone else. So, I mean, hey, you can, you're fine. You fall down a hole and you get diseased. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's probably fair. Who wants to use it? It would be the best place. Well, someone who stays at the back, maybe Narok? That That's fine with me. All right. If that helps. Hmm. They want to go out. Oh, it's a harpy. Yeah, I get it. Well, it's only uh, a, I didn't come part of you. Yes. Uh, fucking racist. <laughs> species. He, he was being yeah, weird. He wasn't they, being. Racist. You're not a race. You're a species. Species. Speciesist. <laughs> That's alright. Will it will it will it make your spells harder to do? Like will it choke you in your sleep if it rides up or something? <laughs> no proof. Nice. Sweet. Sounds good to me. Well I got sexy, sexy chain armor, so I don't need that. So you can you can leather it up. The scroll. Oh, for fuck's sake. This scroll that we've okay. Oh, that scroll there. Uh, one Aston looks like something you could use. Yes, it is. Would you anyone mind? If I had a peek. Three, two, one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but ju- just remember, we're in like a mountainous area, so if you turn something to mud, you could bring everything down on us. Like, it'll be on your own. Ooh. Are we expecting pursuit? <laughs> oh, dear. I, g- I walk up and give Terity a hug. <laughs> okay, little one. Not anymore. Um, <laughs> only when, only, uh, only when um, not that he knows of. Only when the uh, cold corpses don't come hugging. Uh, Amlo's moved on, so you should as well. I agree. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you met with, I thought you met with with Narok's mom for a second. <laughs> he would eat him alive. <laughs> <laughs> Just rolls his eyes, and Narok's <laughs> like, "I'm fucking out, nah, <laughs> nah. Let's, let's let's keep let's keep going, bloody hell." <laughs> Ooh, want a Fleming Sphere? Absolutely. Thank you very much, Len. I shall endeavour to save everyone's life with it. (laughs) (laughs) 
Jeez. One can always be redeemed. Remember, they were killed by a dra- uh, dragon. <laughs> and then <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, 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 I pull a bottle of I pull a bottle of whiskey out and pour one out for my dead homies. Alcohol abuse. Narok shakes his head again. <laughs> Drawing a forty on the curb. Oh, no, I'm a harpy who's a feral. Plants deserve to drink too. Mm. Should be fun. (laughs) He he chuckles and thinks to himself, You you say that now. Anyone, anyone who who uh, survives being raped by an orc, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Lost my leg. She ripped them off. She shoved them up my ass. <laughs> but I like that anyway. Would probably. <laughs> I like that you're developing your act beyond the jokes. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, the jokes are good. Are you yeah. doing the jazz hands as well? Because that's what I want to say. No, that's what my mum's going to do up his ass is spirit fingers. Um, <laughs> like a puppet. <laughs> like a puppet. This is degraded <laughs> so quickly. <laughs> Very quickly. <laughs> I blame I blame Derek. No. Let's assume you've moved on to the next campsite. Uh, right. Sounds, Sounds good. Wall, Sounds good. Oh. All right. Yeah. So, Nurik will just go for a, a look, and you find uh, because you're you've got such a high skill in survival, you find a fairly well protected area for the party to rest. That we can go to sleep in and not guard. He, yep. He, he takes and, his perch up, and... and in fact, that is exactly right. When it's when it's high enough, you you can fall asleep and not suffer. And Narok has stay uh, has stayed awake for his first watch, uh, and then we are at Terity. Mm. <laughs> and he thinks of Narok's mm. mouth. <laughs> oh boy. Oh hey boy. Mm. Well done, Terity. Uh, Dex. It is, yeah, it is working. It. Uh, Dex Fortitude. Jeez. Yes, you have stayed awake. Let's go with uh, Von Aston next. Oh, uh, just fortitude save. Yeah, uh, yeah. we we'll just have to move some stuff. Yeah. You are awake, and lastly, Dolgren, who's probably got no chance of being asleep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. A new day dawns on the assumption that you wish to progress further down the eastern part of the valley. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I will remove more of... Ugawoo. Can't thing. commit giant genocide without exploring every part of the map. Genocide. So the valley splits in two. And you can see the one to the south 
Uh, you can see a giant scarecrow crudely formed from tree trunks lashed together. And this part, the, the southern part, is certainly more forested. Uh, so on either part of, of the, um, the valley, trees have seemingly grown up through, through the rock, uh, but they, um, they're ash trees. And they certainly seem somewhat twisted, but they are holding on fast in this in this climate. And a cold breeze whisks through. Uh, and this this scarecrow is about twenty feet high, and it looks like it's been overgrown with moss and lichen. Um, anyone with survival could make a roll. Yeah. Um. And so, yeah, you, that, that you can quite right. easily tell Narok, you think this look this is only a few months old. It looks older to most others, but you look at it and say that's only a few months old. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's, this I believe this is only a few months old, even though it looks older. Um but uh, you know, I'm a bit confused by this. So. so is it to distract something big and that something big is probably still around here? Is that what we're saying? Uh, well, anyone with a knowledge local role could make a role. Knowledge local skill. Oh, what the fuck? It's sticking out as untrained. But all the numbers yeah. are wrong. The stuff hasn't loaded properly for me. That's why I've been... I've had to manually do a lot. Ah. Uh... Anyway, don't worry about it. We'll figure it out later. No, uh, it doesn't immediately come to any of you about why why this particular scarecrow has been put here. Obviously, normally scarecrows sure. are there to warn people, but as to what it is, you, you sort of can't can't get that. dragons. <coughs> You've travelled a lot, Terity. Do you know what that is? So that seems to mark the start of the southern valley. There's obviously the the continuation of the eastern one. Um, I the rokes intrigued about this uh, scarecrow. Um, I wouldn't mind taking a closer look and going down the south if people are yep. wanting to follow. Well, I mean, since everything comes to life, did you want to shoot it first, and then we can go down there and grab your arrow? I did want to preempt it though. It might, it you re might... you remember the last time that Dex gave you a warning, things came to life. Mm. <laughs> so how about everyone stay back and I'll go down? So then I'm the only one covered in slime this time. What would your uh, mother say? <laughs> probably. Are you hungry? Do you need to take? <laughs> do you need to have a pee stop before we keep going? <laughs> Okay. Do you no, need a peace stop? Let's no. just go. We'll just go as a group. It's all right. We can. Uh, so Naroko, okay. Naroko, will go out. You know, sort of. Don't you talk to your stepdad yards. like that, young man? Uh, so are the rest of you following Naroko, following him at a sort of a bit of a distance, or yeah, no, 50, I'll, 50 I'll run up to him. I'll, I'll run up to him, but stay at yeah. Deck, Dex is just, always fine next to me. I'll just walk next to him. It, it reassure, makes him feel reassured that someone almost cares. I... <laughs> so, so, so we've got Dex, Terity, and Naroke moving up to the Scarecrow, and everyone else, what, 100 feet back? Well, I mean, terity has uh, got his new armor and that cool blade, so I'm, I'm feeling good about this. Okay, well, you guys um, get to the scarecrow, yes. Have a, have a good sort of look around at the scarecrow. Take my time, see if there's anything I can tell what, how it was made, why it was made, if there are any inscriptions or warnings that I can ascertain from being closer and taking a closer look. I'll go 20 feet behind Andrew. 
I can. <laughs> we we right. speed up. All right. Speed up as he's trying. All right, to cool. Back. No worries, that's fine. <laughs> I'll stay with you. No, no, I'll, I'll stay back here. Uh, so, uh, so Dex, a perception check as well, please. <coughs> oh, good. You, you, I mean, you guys think that its arms seem to move, but you realise it's just the breeze, um, and it doesn't move any further, so it doesn't make any threatening attacks at you at this point. It's uh, it's arms are moving with the breeze, so let's watch out. Yeah, it's not magical. It looks like a stack, a big ass scarecrow. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Oh. That's uh that is certainly a a good uh a good thing to to note. Uh make a knowledge uh I think it's local role. Wow. Uh, so, Terity, people have probably come to expect that you're quite knowledgeable about, about things, but it just seems as if this isn't isn't the thing for you. Uh, though, Dex, you, you don't know a lot more other than it, from the size, you expect it's been made by giants rather than people who have of any of your size. It Unless looks of crude moving. giant design. Wow. No, it's big. Ooh. I'm just saying, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, shall we continue on? Yeah, yeah, well, you could, I mean, you can either motion or, for them to come up or get them. Or is there a way we could rig this to scare the shit out of the rest of them when they get here? Right? Make it seem more alive somehow. Uh, Dex, if you wish if you wish to do that, you can, uh, I'm sure you would be able to uh, make an appropriate roll. Yeah, I'll just try yeah. and, just try and, f a simple mechanical pulley to pull one of the arms up like it's yeah. going for Is that it. a disabled device? Yeah, I'd like to. That's, uh... Okay. Well, uh, as the rest of you uh, approach, uh, you can all make perception rolls. So Dolgren and Von Aston and probably Barrent, um, you you move up and suddenly the scarecrow seems to spring to life. Its arms outreach towards you, rustling around. Uh, Terity seems to be completely oblivious to this. Um, uh, standing out there, just sort of staring up at the sun. He almost looked like he was trying to decide to hide but got distracted. Um, and you know, there's probably a worried look passing across Dex's face. What do you choose to do? Shout, Terry, watch out! Oh, indeed, it's alive. That didn't sound very convincing. Can I do a sense motive? Sure. <laughs> Uh, Terity, bluff roll. Oh dear, he's gonna smash me good. 
That's why Dex was eating the sweetmeats. Hmm. We're still talking about the troll bits, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Dolgren, no. You you think, despite best efforts, Terity has perhaps let the cat out of the bag and you realise something is afoot here. That, And the fact now that this creature hasn't really done anything else, um, that it is, in fact not as hostile as it may look and then and yeah y- yell out you found the wizard of oz ha! <laughs> it's, that's, that's not my name great. Great. all right guys so uh, are you heading south yes please So after a period, again, this area gets uh, somewhat boggy as well, not quite as that other (laughs) valley you're in. And you can all make perception checks. I don't think there's going to be many issues amongst you guys. Even Terity, who seems to seems to be somewhat distracted perhaps it's because umlo umlo's not with the group anymore but rising out of and of the bog and let's say it's somewhere of the order of only 60 feet away are some very large creatures and there's four of them and they look like this uh- um, hey, hey. They are yeah. giant size, but clearly with severe wounds that have occur- uh, that have occurred uh, to them. Mm. In fact, wounds that you would instantly suspect should mean that they are not uh, living, but clearly they are moving uh, towards you. And we will jump to one of those Dave Brennan inspired battle maps. <laughs> Let me grab these guys. What the hell is that? And I'll just make them visible. And if you could all roll initiative, please. Well, that was a waste. Ooh. Nice one, Dex. Fantastic. We were ready. Well. You know, we're we're pretty rad like that. So Barrett's still feeling a bit sick. He's just sort of hanging hanging towards the back. Uh, Naroke, you, perhaps not unsurprisingly, in in this environment, get to react first as these giant creatures with glowing red eyes and wounds that really mean they shouldn't be moving at all, rise out of the bog and start coming towards you, mumbling to those who understand giants something like brains. Okay, so I would assume... uh, Use your brains to go back and let fly. Assuming that, and that is a hit. Oh, really? <laughs> Shit. Um, is there a sec- uh, ability for a second attack, or this is just a surprise round? You get one attack, or no? I don't think there's any surprise with this. They've they've risen up. You guys have sort of noticed them. They're obviously aware of your presence. I'll attempt to throw another arrow as a warning shot across its 
head. And indeed, it is a successful warning shot across its head. Excellent. This is what I move for. Dex. I'll, I'll scooch behind the tree and hide. <laughs> okay, Dex. So, number one, advances on you, Naruk. And yes, as Terity sort of mouths that, you think they do seem fast. Faster than you'd expect. They do have deceptive pace. They're a lot faster than you thought. And that is a hit. <coughs> and if you... Uh, I don't think... I don't think that occurs right now. So you basically gain a negative level in the rope. <laughs> right, eh? Wow. As this creature seems to exude a type of evil that you have not fought, it's, it, it seems to suck the very life essence from you. That shit. And number two moves up. It seems to move without getting an attack to here. Number three. It moves around here. Now, Dex, you don't think it's seen you directly, but it certainly seems to think that someone's in a similar location to where you are. So it's almost like you're invisible but it, it recognises that your presence is nearby. And this one... Well, I'll be. Charity. <laughs> While that's happening, Andrew, could you take my target you have um low away? Clear that out. Take um low away. Yeah, my target. I'm still targeting him. Of course. Still targeting that is um Dolgren still targeting um low. Still targeting Amway. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, it says it says that. Trey, I wonder how if I cl hit clear Clean. targets, it's gonna remove everyone's target. There's not actually anything next to your character is there. Targets, maybe that's it. Uh, hmm. I'm going to just clear it. There you go. And yep. sorry, Dahlgren. And do it's it all right. Thanks. Yep.
Uh, and that's a hit. And you think that's a that's a pretty pretty meaty hit. Bon Aston. Oh de 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 dear. Um Bon Aston is going to end up targeting the three just to the north. To the north. Um Yep. Uh, with Holt Undead. Okay. So they will have to try. One, two, four. Yep. Um, DC 18 will save. If they, um, pass, they can move. If they can't, they... It should have rolled the will saves. Um, if they oh, fail, yeah, 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 actually, fail yeah. the will saves, they're held. Because <clears throat> I targeted them before I hit it. No, 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 that's all good. And it's far better you yeah. rolled because I had two successes at that point and all three of yours are failures. So for them. Oh, <laughs> <sweet>. <laughs> um, then those three are paralyzed and they get, um, for up to eight turns, they get on their turn, they will save DC 18 again to move. Right, so they can't attack. If... Correct. It's like hold person, except yep. it's hold undead. Yep. 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 <clears throat> wow. Oh, by the way, I'm a necromancer. Look. Oh. <laughs> I'm disgusted. And... <laughs> oh. and good good, good work. And go. <laughs> okay, what Baron still fears... Feels a bit sick, and we can probably go back to Naroke. Um, so I, I obviously can tell something's happened because they're not moving, correct? They have stopped moving, yes. After Von Aston uh, unleashed some form of magic. Excellent. Um, since there is a lack of front fighters at the moment, it's going to take a five-foot step forward, drop the bow, drag out Gorom's Thorn, and take one attack on this to see if there's um, any... Did you drop Paralyzed on me? I can do that because that will obviously affect, affect things. Very well. significantly. Yeah. Because yeah, um, I haven't taken in my negative level into account. Hence why I didn't worry too much about the pluses and minuses because I quite don't know how to do that in Fantasy Grounds. Yeah, and I would normally do that through Hero Lab when I've done things and then just convert into Fantasy Grounds. Um, I'll have a play and I'll figure it out. Yeah, minus one at least on yeah the, i think that's minus it. one so it still hits but then it'll be a minus one to damage no ability so check attack roll so okay. good hit so that'll that'll do for that but yeah i'll have a quick squeeze on how to do it as well awesome uh, kick I have full withdraw. Yep. Okay. Uh, so your say. So do they get a? Do they get this roll on their turn, Derek? Um, it's like technically no, because the first one is like their roll on this turn. Then after that, it happens as on the beginning of their turn oh, and it is their entire turn to shake it off yeah yeah okay so so effectively i can ignore them for their go this time uh yep except the three who does get within range of you on eston that beast 
and will take a hit. Bad on dead. He attempts to, or it attempts to slam you, hitting, doing an incredible 13 points of damage, which is its minimum, and will energy drain. So I think you take a negative level as well. So, Cole, did you see my thing? Yep, no idea how to apply it. No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> ah, bugger. Um, spell effects. So, if you go to actions, um, okay. and so you should be able to yep, add a spell action, add a spell effect, add... Fair enough. All right. I will look at custom effect. Yep. Thanks, Michael. Yep. Including the undead. You're all uh, paralyzed. Very convincing. <laughs> they can't tell. Hey. Thank you. You always get your bluffs, Michael, like when your barbarians cast detect magic and I think, oh, God, he got me again. Okay, now, if your acrobatics is not as high as its CMD, it will get an attack of opportunity, yeah? Yeah, so let us uh, get this creature to deselect on A, selectarity, and then have an attack as you tumble in, but not well enough, because these are surprisingly quick for what you would expect from an undead type of creature that you might think of as slow, but it's hopeless, it misses you. Right. Morgan. Let's continue the assault on number one. I'll take it out. Yes. Yeah. Toy. Oh. Wow. You have smashed that that particular giant. Done. And then move to there. Okay, Von Aston, you're in the almost the front row, but for this plucky, uh, plucky little little creature, this halfling who's dashed in front of you. Ah, oh, love what you do, love it. Um, so can I get a question? Magic missile hmm. says, uh, blah 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 blah, an extra dart. Um, strikes it. So I can send all of them at a single creature, can't I? Yes, or split them. Or split them. Okay. I'm going to send them all at um, the creature that's very, very close to me. Um, so I'm going to do a... Uh, hang on. If I've got still up targets. I do. Yes. I'm targeting. Um, okay, I'm going to do a five foot step, and it is magic missile, blah, 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 uh, four at seventh. So uh, I'm just going to do it this way. Go. Uh, 
Add that into there. All right. Ready. So, targeting him using one of my magic missiles. Dunk. Ah! I got it on combat, so my damage dice vanished. Oh my goodness. Oh, Double no. ones. Little bit underpowered. <sighs> But still damage. True. It's not it's not my spell of choice. Um so yeah. Uh, five foot stepped and shot, so over to Barrett. Barrett he's, he's still feeling a bit sick. He's trying to rally himself on a rogue. Five foot step. Attempted the neg level one coding, so we'll see how that goes. And then he'll drop two attacks onto right number four. It's a hit and miss. Hit and hit. Hit and hit. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. That's a free row. A large, remember? No decks, flat footer, all that sort of stuff. There you go. Uh. Let's move around and single stab it, I guess. Okay. If it's incapacitated, would you get sneak attack anyway, Dex? Yes. Surely. It's a good. Yeah, uh, yeah it actually. Yeah, it's denied yeah. their dexterity bonus. Yeah, okay, that's true. So I'll just take a five foot step and then I'll, I'll, I'll whip out all attacks. That's good. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh! Hit and hit, if mine was. Is that a hit and hit? That is a hit and a hit, yeah. Do, do, I, do I get a hasted attack? Do I get another one? I believe you get another attack at your full attack level. I didn't do that, oh well. Neither did I. <laughs> it's alright, we don't need to on this one because uh, Dex has got it all sorted. Do I get do I get sneak attack on it? Well, if I mean, if it's denied its dex bonus, and if it's held, I don't see how it gets its dex bonus. So one would think you would, and it's not a creature that precludes sneak attack. So I've hit it three times. Yep. Oh, the ones, the twos. <laughs> oh, the last one. Is, yeah, last one. Well, yeah. You've smashed that one. Narok was here. Oh, no. Well, the extra I... damage he can now actually put in more words and more letters in a short amount of time on uh, Giant Jack Chief. <laughs> so Paul now he yells at them. Come yes. on, more guys. Kill. <laughs> so 24 means it, can, it takes its full round to shake it off. So it starts jiggling, breaking these yep. necromantic bonds you've uh, you've placed on it. I think Fonaz. Yep. It's uh, unparalyzed. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so it's but it takes a full round. It can't do anything this go, can it? C correct. Yep. Okay. So it's shaking itself off. Whereas number three sees this little creature. And hits it. Yeah. Uh, now, what does that mean again? Given I, I forget. I run away. So I've taken 10, I've given you 10 hit points back, but it doesn't stop energy drain. You'll let, you'll get a negative level. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so one neg level for you. And I'm sure Von Aston is greatly thankful that it's not him. And it's your go, Terry.
There's a lot of things gaping on this creature. Jesus. And Von Aston just sort of holds the hand up. Acknowledge me. Oh, it's... Oh. Oh. Yes! <laughs> wow. Wow, well, he, he uses Windy Escape as well. Yeah. <laughs> wow, nice. No, if only <laughs> a critical hit, yep. Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, you can keep doing that, but it's, it is gone. It ain't gonna matter. Does he gain a negative level from kicking it? Yeah. <laughs> and breathe it in. <laughs> Dolgren. Five foot step. That's actually only ten. Don't know why it's saying fifteen. Is it? I can't see properly. Scrolling down. Yeah, that's ten. Yeah, you're five foot away. Hey, you're five foot away. Yeah, that's right. That's within reach with my weapon. Ten yeah. foot. And that's what yeah. I'm saying. It's it's saying fifteen, but it's actually ten. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. All right. Now, attack. Gotcha. That is still a hit. Isn't it? Oh, love it. Wow. <laughs> it's a hit. Oh, oh, it's gone. So you've uh, you've eliminated them all quickly, though potentially thanks. To Von Aston, who paralyzed three of them. Yeah, that's amazing. We could have all had a lot more negative levels. But uh... okay. Oh um, yeah, that's not good though. Can I do a uh, heal check on the people who look a bit dodged to see what's going on? You can, but you would know, I think, enough <laughs> that. They get a check, I think, at the when they go to sleep or within twenty four hours, and if they fail that, they gain, they lose the level permanently. Okay. Um, All right. No worries. So, noting the time, we'll, we'll leave it there. Thank you um, all very much. Just give me this. Oh, for sure. That was per absolutely pathetic. Everybody gets back to uh, eleven hit points. That's enough. probably enough. Almost for me. Work all. And that's fine. Yeah, it was a good search. Thanks, guys. Thank you all very oh, much. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. New Year. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> yes, indeed. Um, so 